Hello, and thank you for joining me on how to add an internal note. This is a brief presentation, a little training tutorial uh, for using LibAnswers to uh, answer questions uh, on Ask a Library in Delaware. And this is for all the providers and staff that do that. So first, what is an internal note? Well, this is a way to communicate uh, messages and information to the team of library staff or otherwise known as the providers of uh, through all the libraries that participate in Ask a Library in Delaware. It is an internal staff communication and just so you know that when you use an internal note it never goes to the patron. It's just a way for us to internally communicate. So it's kind of a safe way that way. Why would we use it? Well, one really important reason is that it documents what happened, uh, information on that particular patron's question. For example, we might want to use it to say that the patron came in to the library and so this question was uh, resolved. They asked the same question but decided to come to the library in person. So it's a way of, of sharing the information that uh, this question is not pending, it's actually been taken care of. It's also a, a way for us to collaborate and provide useful suggestions and ideas and share information among each other. So that way is uh, pretty powerful. We can collaborate as a team and share our expertise and resources. So how do you do it? Well, very quickly, I'm going to show you. We're going to log on to Ask a Librarian Delaware. And I'm going to stop sharing here and go right to my screen. Once you have logged on to the dashboard here, you should see um, questions. And of course, I see on a statewide view, so I see more questions. And I have uh, an example here that came in today. Uh, to the Newark Public Library. So this question, Jitterbugs, Music, and Movement, was actually repeated three times. And on this question, which I had signed to the liaison Heather, I made a librarian's note that this question was repeatedly sent by the patron on three emails. And then I put the question ID numbers here and here and let Heather know that these questions are actually closed um, and they were repeated. Now since Heather is getting this information, she could take a look and see uh, the repeated questions or add information on those. And I left that hanging so that I could show you in this little tutorial how to do that. I'm going to go to the tickets because I closed those questions, I'm going to have to find them there. And when you go into Answers and then Tickets, you'll see that it defaults to Ask a Librarian. So you need to choose the library. In this case, it's Newark. And you'll have access uh, more restrictive than I do. Once you choose anything, change anything, you press Filter. And you can see here are the three questions, Jitterbugs, Music, and Movement that had come in today. So this one, is, the status is new and it had been assigned to Heather. The other two, since I had looked at the questions, they automatically uh, had me claim them, which is fine. And then um, they're both closed as I indicated in my internal note to Heather. But on these, I did not put an internal note and I'm going to show you um, how to do that. So on this one, I could say that uh, this question if I could type right, this question is closed uh, since it's a repeated one. And then I put my name, even though it does show that uh, in there. And you might want to do, you know, more formal or something, but that's fine. This is uh, going to go to Heather because it's an internal note. Heather's the liaison at Newark. Uh, so she'll get this information and know what's happening. And that way, this uh, Anita's question will not be lost in any kind of the traffic here. So I'm going to submit it as closed, which means I'm just going to be having it closed uh, too. Now I'm going to go do that to the other one. And actually, I'll just copy this information. 
and I can go back. I can use the back button here uh, to do that. That makes it pretty easy as well. And um, this is the other one. It doesn't have anything. And please make sure that you have the internal note tab. Um, it, it does go in black. If you were in reply, it would go to the patron. So make sure that you are on internal note uh, too. And um, there it is. This question is closed and it's repeated. And I'm going to go ahead and close it. Now notice I'm not adding any tags or analytics as I normally would, um, mainly because this is a repeated question and it really doesn't count towards our statistics or tracking. So I'm going to opt to um, just not, not use those in there. Uh, you could add some tags if you thought that you needed to go back and find it that way, but um, it's kind of a, a personal choice in that way. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the sharing here and come back to my document. I hope that um, you have uh, learned everything that you need to know about how how to add an internal note. Thank you very much for your time. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email me, Kathy Keo, at uh, Delaware Division of Libraries. Bye for now.